What up guys and girls, CCS Cody here, and if you're like me, you love creating these tutorials, whether or not you're doing it for YouTube, or whether you're doing it for a blog, or whether you're just doing it for a friend. The easiest way to get that point across and to show a logical sequence is by doing a video. It's just the best media to be able to do that, and for people to understand because they can re-watch it. So what I'm gonna do today is actually show you how to record the screen of your Fire Stick. Not only that, to be able to transfer it over onto PC, Mac, or, or your phone. Anything that's on the same network using your IP address is super simple, and it can record from 360 to 1080p. These are both free applications, so there's no time limit on recording. It's just the only limit is actually on the storage space within your Fire Stick. It's super simple to use, so let's just get on. Let's start that five minute timer, and I uh, hope you find this video useful. If you are new to the channel, then subscribe. If not, thanks for watching. So here's the home screen of your Amazon Fire TV 4K. Now this does work on older generations, so don't worry about it. Now the application which you need to record is the screen recorder there. The other application is called Wireless File Manager, and that's gonna allow you to transfer any files to your phone, your Mac, your PC, and back to the Fire Stick as well. Now I have realized after recording this video four times that if I was to go into screen recorder, it would actually stop the recording. So I'm gonna be putting up a little screenshot of it to show you the capabilities of it. So basically it will run from 1080p recording down to 360 or just set it as default for your device, which will record in the native resolution of your screen. So the wireless manager is absolutely fantastic and makes it super easy for you to actually start a wireless connection with any other device as long as you're on the same network the same wi-fi network it will give you an ip address you just point your browser to that ip address and you will see the full file system of your amazon fire stick now remember it does work the other way where you can actually put files into the files of your fire stick by reverse doing it now i I'll explain later because I've got a video coming up on that. So just stay tuned and stay subscribed for that video because it makes a lot of things very, very easy. But this will just record anything on your screen. So if you're gonna do a gaming tutorial, gaming on here. If you're gonna do a Netflix, an app uh, installation, file linked, downloader, anything like that. You can see I've got file linked on here. So if you were gonna do a tutorial like that, you're gonna be able to get full 1080p resolution. Now, obviously you could record things from there as well. You could record things from there and that you could record absolutely anything which is on your screen. So what we're gonna do now is go over to the Mac and then I'm gonna show you the actual wireless transfer and all what you can pretty much do anything and everything in there. So like I said, all you need to do is actually make sure you are on the same connection. That is actually my 5G network. I need to switch to my 2.4G network and then everything will work. So once we've switched uh, connections to the 2.4G network, then we're just gonna hit refresh and here we have everything that's actually on our device. It's super, super simple. You can go into the apps, what we've got, and we can go into the file manager. It's only the file manager which you really wanna look uh, into. So if we go up one to the parent folder, you can see here's a couple of uh, recordings which I've done. So all you wanna do here is just right click and download linked file and that's actually transferring this off of your Fire Stick or copying it onto your actual computer. The transfer rate is a little bit slow, but it's gonna get there. It's only a 10 meg file. I remember we're only on a 2.4G network, which is actually quite slow upstairs, but my Fire Stick seems to like it. So as soon as it's downloaded that 10 meg, we can give it a little look. We can drag it into our little editor or whatever editor you're using. And there you go, your tutorial is complete. Now I'm just recording the audio on this with a, uh, a Blue Yeti mic just plugged in to my USB in the Mac. And with my second monitor, with my Fire Stick in, and that is pretty much it. We are good to go. So. I hope you found this useful. I hope we made it within the five minutes. And if you are doing any more tutorials or want any more hints, tips, and tricks on uh, screen recording and or editing, then please just comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out.